Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn in UiPath apps how to use image binding and how that will be helpful. Everything in detail we are going to see in this video. So why delay? Let's get started and learn the techniques. So binding the image is quite easy in UiPath App Studio. So let's see how to do it. First of all, I have dragged and dropped a container. Okay, and inside the container, what do you mean by container? This is the container layout. Okay, I have dragged and dropped a container layout. Now inside this container layout, I am going to add an image container. So all these icons you call container. Pretty simple. Don't get confused with the words. So this is the image container. Okay. Now what I have done, I have already downloaded an image on my system. I will click on this. Click on this image binding area. This window will come up. And here I, all I am going to do, click on this plus sign. Okay. So once I click on the plus sign, let's say I would like to put this image. So I'll select the image. You can download any uh, copyright free image. Okay. So once the image is there, all I have to do simply click on it. Okay. So once you click, what would happen? The image would appear here. So this is one way by using the image binding property, you can add it. Okay. The second way is by URL. Even using this, we can do it. So before we do that, let me show you a preview. Okay, there is also another container. Uh, here, I have an image. Okay, so there is a deleted reference. So it has, I have deleted. So let me add it back. Click on the plus sign. Uh, let me use this image. Okay, so the image has come. So let, let's do a preview. Okay, let's do a preview. So this is quite simple of how do you get an image inside your UiPath app. Let's see how the look and feel of this application. All right. Okay, so here uh, this is the login page. If I click on sign up, you can see there's a image in the sign up page also. If I click on login, there's also image in the login page. Okay, quite simple. Now, there are also a couple of other fields. Okay, let me also talk about them. Uh, URL value binding. For example, if you go to Google and if I type images and images, I'll go to the images. Okay, for example, this one, I'll just delete it. Okay, so I'll copy image address. I'll not, I mean, I'll not keep it just for learning purpose. I'm using it. Now, you are not supposed to use this and this together. Okay. Any one of them you have to use. So ensure, um, you know, you are removing the other one. Otherwise, it, you might get some kind of an error. So use any one of them. Either image binding, if you already download an image, or if you have a URL, if you want to go with that. Okay. So if I click on preview, so now it should show me the new image. That was there in the sign up page, right? Okay, so you can see, and there are a lot of different uh, adjustment options. Okay, but again, I don't need this image. This doesn't look really good. Let me put it back. I think the seventh one, right? No, no, not the seventh one. It was fifth. Okay, so fine. Apart from this, there are a couple of other values. This is a tool tip. Uh, this one I tried, but again, the tool tip is not really appearing. You, you can give it a try and comment if it is working for you. Okay, comment in the video and let me know. Uh, and there is display hidden and disabled, but most probably you will be using this. Now, there is also an option in the event. If somebody clicks on the image, what, what should happen? Okay, for example, if somebody clicks on the image, if somebody clicks on this image, uh, create rule. Okay. I wanted to show a message or I want to open some other page. All those things can also be done. Okay. For example, uh, if somebody clicks on this, I'll click on show message. Okay. So message, I will say, hi, hi there. And then I'm going to put a message. Please sign up. Okay. Something like that. I'm putting a message here and I, I'm going to reduce the time to one. Done. Now close this. And for this image, for this image I've done, okay. If I click on this, it should show me that message. So if I click on preview, 
a lot of things you can think of okay once you know how these things are working then you can think of various different aspects so now i'll go to the sign up page now if i'm going to click on this what is happening uh, you can see hi there please sign up it is coming staying for one second and going up there are also many things you can do for example opening a page okay opening a page has to be a, a page from your this one okay let's say if somebody clicks on that icon it should go back to the login page let's say okay it should go back to the login page just for an example this is not very logical but again as an example i'm showing you okay login page it should go and it should open up in the page container okay now close this now what would happen by doing this if i hit on preview it's a good practice to close okay while you are practicing uh, it's better to close the previous opened up windows okay so let me go to the sign up page and here i'm going to click on this so you can see it has brought me back to the login page so this is some, some of the techniques if you know you can utilize in a practical area okay when it comes you can utilize these techniques so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye